meter square. So as a result, actually we have already some gases in our atmosphere, but they have in a particular component uh, composition. For example, the carbon dioxide, uh, oxygen, nit nitrogen, uh, seventy-eight percent. But at the result of the more pollution, more uh, atmospheric pollution, uh, these gases are going to increase day by day as i have already um, show you in the graph that uh, our carbon dioxide is going to increase from 250 ppm to it it is expected that it is going to increase at least 600 ppm in the 2050 so these gases work as a trapping as a as a trapping material or as a uh, just like a glass just like a glass in your car that that trap all the heat inside your car. We have the option to open the uh, glasses by the window, but in the atmosphere, we have no option to open this type of windows to release all this type of heat. Then what is the option? The option is to minimize all these greenhouse gases. Okay, so this type of, uh, this is the solar influx, sol uh, solar energy influx, chemistry of the atmosphere, that albedo. Some, you can see that in, on the ice, uh, that it is reflecting more and absorbing less. But other material that, are, that have a darker color, uh, that absorbing more and reflecting less. So this type of uh, radiation we can measure with the help of the remote sensing, remote sensing images, image interpretation method. So this is the main factor that we, we are facing the global warming. Okay. That is uh, the radiation and the cooling. This picture showing the radiation and the cooling uh, by the earth. And this is the greenhouse effect. So um, I think all of the student can easily understand this type of uh, phenomena that incoming solar radiation in the form of shorter wavelength, they heated all the objects, but outer going radiation that is formed in the form of longer wavelength that is not allowed to go outside the earth. It is reabsorbing by the atmosphere and increasing the temperature on the earth. What is the cause? Actually, you can see uh, that there is a Wing's law, lambda maximum. Lambda maximum, that is uh, denoted for the what is the maximum wavelength by which the sun releases its maximum shorter wavelength. And what is the lambda maximum for the Earth on which the Earth releases its longer wavelength? So for the sun, it is 0.5 micrometer. And for the Earth, it is a 10 micrometer. You can see that the, that the sun has a very very high temperature so that it has a shorter wavelength but as compared to the sun earth is not so hot it is cool as compared to the sun so it is releasing all its radiation in the form of longer wavelength that is the 10 micrometer by this uh, graph you can see that uh, lambda maximum for the sun is 0.5 micrometer whereas the lambda maximum for the earth is 10 micrometer that's why the earth releasing its most of the radiation in the form of longer wavelength and the sun releasing its most of the uh, uh, radiation in the form of shorter wavelength okay then what uh, changes in the atmospheric chemistry so global increase in carbon dioxide and other gases you know at, I, I have already tell, told you that uh, in the atmosphere, there is a particular composition of all type of gases. But when, uh, when the activity of the industrial and uh, urbanization, they are releasing lots of the amount of the uh, greenhouse gases, no? lots of greenhouse gases, they trap all these radiation. So, Next phenomena that I'm going to tell you, the El Nina and the La Nina, that is also related to the climate change. At, uh, you can see in the present scenario that uh, the, there is a change in the rain pattern. There is a lots of precipitation in the atmosphere. So what is the cause? 
Because it's the two phenomena. I think uh, these two phenomena are very new for few uh, students. So uh, El Nina and La Nina. Uh, El Nina, first of all, I want to tell you the main meaning. That is known as the Christ child or the infant Jesus in the Spanish. And the La Nina means the little girl. Actually, these two phenomena are a start in the month of December. Uh, approx uh, near, nearby the 25th of December. That's why they are known as the Christ child or the Christ boy and the Christ girl. Actually, El Nina and the La Nina have the opposite uh, uh, characteristics. That's why that that is denoted by the girl and the boy. Okay, so these phenomena are happened in the Pacific Ocean, Eastern Pacific Ocean. So. What what happened in the uh, I'm just, first of all you tell you the yeah this is the Pacific Ocean and uh, it is near about the equator. Uh, so solar radiation heated the water of particular this region of the Pacific Ocean. So that is the uh, cause that you can see that under normal circumstances the water of the Eastern Pacific is surprisingly cold in the normal condition, but when the El Nina condition is happened as much as 10 degree cooler than the water of West, Western Pacific, if uh, increasing the temperature. So it, this type of phenomena is happened every five to 10 years from December to March. The water of the Eastern Pacific warm up a little which disturb the upwelling of the rich cold water. And the water is work as a seesaw. That's why it is known as the Southern Oscillation, up and the down, up, up level and the down level. I can see you uh, this type of phenomena. This is, this is the El Nino phenomena. That left hand side is the normal condition in which there is a loop is making for the cloud formation, but that is the normal condition. Warmer water is up and the cool water is down what uh, when the alina condition the temperature of the pacific uh, ocean is going to increase the warm water is going to increase and the cool water is going to down that's why the whole the uh, pattern of the trade wind is trade wind is going to disturb going to reverse and as a uh, as a result the formation of the cloud is also going to disturb so this is the El Nina condition and what happened in the El Ni uh, La Nina condition uh, this is a picture in which uh, the temperature is uh, the red color is showing to the higher temperature in the Pacific Ocean and uh, that, that graph uh, is uh, suddenly uh, going to increase uh, due to the temperature and this is the La Nina condition La Nina condition is just opposite to the El Nina condition in uh, actually what happened uh, when the wettest place is going uh, receive more precipitation it is predicted that it is the la nina condition when the wettest places uh, receive very less precipitation that is the el nina condition so you can see that loop is making in the same position but the more cloud are formed more clouds are formed in this phenomena, the water is surprisingly cold, more cold than the normal condition. So the trade wind pattern is remaining the same, but the formation of the clouds are uh, showing as a more dense form. Okay, so what is the difference between the uh, El Nina and the La Nina condition? So El Nina is uh, characterized by the movement of usually warm water into the eastern equatorial Pacific Ocean. That is the result of extensive disruption of the weather around the world. So when El Nina comes along, these trade winds uh, become weak and uh, change the direction from west to east. That is the warm Pacific current is start to flow east. And in the form of La Nina, whoa, El Nina, El Nina is characterized by usingly surprisingly cold ocean temperature. So to both the phenomena El Nina and La Nina are 
responsible for changing our climate, changing the um, precipitation pattern, all of the things. Okay. These are the episodes of the El Nina and the La Nina. And these are showing the year, year wise data that when the El Nina condition happened and when the La Nina condition happened. You can see that in the recent uh, scenario that 2021, 20, 21 to 22, it is facing the La Nina condition. La Nina, in the La Nina condition, the wettest places receives the more precipitation. So in the eastern, eastern part, Assam, Guwahati, you can see that there is a flooded condition. They are receiving the more rainfall as compared to the previous years. That is the main cause of the La Nina condition. So uh, it remains approx three to four years. It is a cyclic pattern. Uh, once the El Nina condition happened, after that, after two, three years uh, later, the La Nina condition happened. So it is, it is uh, continuously running. But sometimes it is showing the weak pattern, sometimes it is showing the very strong pattern, and sometimes it is showing the moderate pattern. At present, it is showing the moderate pattern, not so weak and not so strong. So these are the episodes. Quick fact. What are the quick facts? So after an El Nina that I am telling you already, the climate does not always swing to a La Nina phase. There are some time, uh, there, there is some time. So there have been only 17 moderate to strong La Ninas compared to 25 moderate to strong El Ninas. El Nina conditions remain more as compared to the La Nina condition. So La Nina is a natural phenomena in the climate system and have been occurring for centuries. This is the difference that I have told you already. What are the observed changes and the effects? So predicted effect of the climate changes. You all of you can see that already we are facing the changed climate. Sea level rise, increase, increase plant primary productivity, increase storm severity, Water contamination, outbreaks of waterborne disease, potential melting or enlargement of polar ice caps, change of pattern of the rainfall, more severe droughts or increased precipitation, and changes to ocean circulation pattern. The widespread impact on the natural world already evident. Uh, we have facing already melting of the permafrost, increased river flow into the Arctic, widespread melting of the glaciers, sea level rising one to two centimeter per decade, and earlier spring activity in the plant and the animals. This is the complete impact of the climate change. Impact on the sea level rise, impact on the human health, impact on the agriculture sector, impact on the forest, impact on the water resource, impact on the coastal areas, species and the natural areas. So global average surface temperature that I have already told you that it is only the 15 degrees centigrade. But when we are saying that it is going to increase one degree centigrade, that is that is a drastic change in this temperature. It is sufficient to melt the glaciers very rapidly. It is sufficient for the flooded condition. It is sufficient to change all the precipitation pattern. Okay. So temperature change, you can see by the 1880 to 84 that uh, it was very, the blue color is showing the cool in the temperature, but as it is going to change from yellow to orange to red, it means that it is going to increase, temperature is going to increase per decade, 26 to 1930. You can see the image, that is the patches of the red color is going to start 
2003 to 2007 it is almost red almost red okay the surface melting you can see this image greenland the melting of the glaciers very rapidly the, the left picture is showing the 1978 whereas the right picture is showing to 2007 there is a drastic change in the melting of the glaciers how much climate change is too much if we are saying that 1 to 2 degree centigrade temperature it's it has impact on the ecosystem on the species on the society including the developing uh, agricultural sector greenland already uh, ice caps start to melt irreversibly and uh, 2 to 3 degree centigrade we are saying that 2 to 3 degree centigrade major loss of coral reef ecosystem considerable species loss etc and terrestrial carbon sink becomes a source actually what is the cause of the coral reef ecosystem i am showing in the next slide that uh, there is a very drastic uh, changes in the coral reef of uh, oceans actually the more the carbon dioxide is going to absorb in the ocean and making the ocean more acidic more acidic and the coral reef have the coral reef have the calcium calcium carbonate and it is going to depleted day by day so by the increasing the carbon dioxide our ocean is uh, decreasing its salinity and glacier melting inputs lots of the fresh water and animals have a narrow range of tolerance to the direct effect of carbon dioxide to carbon dioxide affect the acidity of the ocean and it is already increasing negative impact on coral reefs and on the planktons and uh, disturbing all the food chain okay so carbon dioxide help plant to grow but quality quality of yield uh, may be reduced but growth also limited by water and nutrient availability sea level rise and storm surges Indian study showed that mean sea level rises for the Mumbai slightly, okay, less than one mm per year, and a possible decrease at Chennai. A storm surge so that increase in number of high surge under climate change, and cyclones frequently, and a strength increase in the Bay of Bengal, particularly in the post monsoon period. So these are the uh, uh, episodes that are related to the sea level rise and the storm surges. Projected change in the precipitation. This graph shows the changes in the precipitation. There will be changes in the precipitation, decreasing as well as increasing. So higher altitudes increase uh, increased precipitation. Low and middle in, uh, latitude receiving the less. and shortage and there will be the shortage of the drinking water all over the world that is a picture that is a picture that is showing the change in the acidity and the reduction in the calcification rate at least the coral calcification rate reduces 15 to 20 percent skeleton density that is due to the making the ocean more acidic carbon dioxide makes water acidic corals and other calcium carbonate species can't make the skeleton so impact on plankton development and impact on the food web okay. there is an increase in the invasive species invasive species also called the introduced species uh, foreign species that comes from the outsider outside from where, uh, any other places uh, they compete uh, with the uh they compete with other uh, native species to so sea surface temperature that is picture showing the sea surface temperature weather evident more severe weather pattern el nino hurricanes mudslides forest fires and the drought origin and the path of the tropical cyclones so developing hurricanes gather heat and energy so the contact with the warm ocean water the addition of the moisture via evaporation from the sea surface power 
than like gained heat engine so you can see that our india our india is facing the most of the problem most of the problem by the disturbing all these sea surface temperature our monsoon wind is going to disturb in recent scenario we can see that there is a loss of the disturbances in the monsoon wind so that is the main cause of disturbing all these pattern climate change impact for india climate change impact for india that is climate change impact for india what are the main main impacts uh, that will be happened in the india changes in the weather pattern cyclonic disturbances sea level pattern changes in agriculture yield in fresh water supply impact on forest and the natural ecosystem impact on human health impact on mortality rate due to the climate change change in the biodiversity actually some floral and the faunal species are very sensitive to the temperature very sensitive to the temperature they are showing the change in their um, uh, pattern their change in the flowering pattern change in their uh, developing pattern so number of rainy days may be reduced in the western part of the gangetic basin already is going to reduce so 70% of the vegetation vulnerable to changes so adverse impact on the wildlife and the biological species so it is uh, we can also link this type of climate change with the reduction in wheat and the rice yield so rainfall pattern and uh, quantities in period of drought in some regions so more rainfall in central india and the reduced rain in the northeast so leading to change in the forestry and the vegetation india you can see that the predicted change in the rainfall millimeter by the 2085 that's uh, it is going to change the whole uh, rain pattern by the 2080 risk to ecosystem and people in india what are the major major risk the risk increase incidence of natural calamities increase in stress to human and other life form increase probability of trans boundary issue himalayan glacier melt uh, and at present day we are facing the flooded condition in the assam that uh, the main cause is china and the nepal they are releasing more the water into the india because china is already facing the climate change phenomena okay there is a intense rainfall in the particular region so the flooded condition that is also disturbing the northeast portion over our india variability in the monsoon affecting the crop production erosion lost la larger erosion of the soil that making the infertile soil so sea level rise relocation of the population climate reduce refugees effect on the forest so shift in the vegetation type species of lower altitude migrate to the higher altitude mountain forest of western ghats would change into the grassland and increases in the dry season land you can see that there is a shorter period of the uh, uh, winters we are facing the lots of uh, uh, gap between the uh, low temperature and the high temperature at least in the month of january we are facing the um, high temperature in the afternoon but at the night it is going drastic low so what was the reason the reason was that our climate is already changed okay so increase in dry season land would increase the risk of forest fire in moist and the dry deciduous forest in uttarakhand we are facing uh, the forest fire incidents on a daily routine what is the reason the reason is, is there is a longer dry season and less precipitation that making it the moist okay so impact on the monsoon is the main cause of the climate change so actually our india is uh, 
mainly dependent on the monsoon rainfall so climate change has had an effect on the monsoon so india is heavily dependent on the monsoon to meet its agricultural and water needs but in the present scenario we are facing the agricultural disturbances agriculture activities disturbances and the lack of water ground water you have already know that uh, the chennai was the first city that have lost all its the ground water why because it is receiving the less rainfall we are withdrawing the more water from the ground but we are not recharging it we are not uh, giving the water back to the earth. so that was the main cause of the climate change agriculture vulnerable agriculture our agriculture actually our agriculture practices is mainly dependent on the monsoon rain so as a, as a result if we are saying that there is a 2 degree centigrade rise in the temperature that will decrease the indian wheat yield up to the 6% in the subtropical area 17 to 18% in the tropical areas and for the rice and for the rice it is projected to reduce the yield by 10 to 16% and a 4 degree centigrade rise it will decrease 21 to 30% reduction in in um, last few days uh, you have already listened that uh, um, after few years we are losing the wheat gehu khatam ho jayega वर्ल्ड से गेहूं खत्म हो जाएगा आया था ना न्यूज में तो व्हाट वाज द कॉज द कॉज दैट एज द टेम्परेचर इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज वी आर लूजिंग अवर इल्ड वी आर लूजिंग अवर व्हीट इल्ड अवर लूजिंग अवर राइस इल्ड तो वी हैव नो द सफिशिएंट अमाउंट ऑफ द ग्रेन्स टू फुलफिल अवर हंगर नीड्स ओके the so low yield of the crops that are district in the western rajasthan southern gujarat madhya pradesh maharashtra karnataka andhra pradesh bihar are highly vulnerable to the climate change and these are the main reasons where we have received lots of the grains and other food items so there will be a lots of impact on the yield wheat production in india it is uh, it is going to decrease year by year okay health next issue is the health human health you are facing the lots of endemic uh, disease malaria filaria dengue there is two vector borne diseases what are the reason that mosquitoes are not uh, not affected by the low temperature because they are not receiving the low temperature they are receiving the sufficient temperature to germinate its uh, uh, larvas in the in the month of january in the month of december so that what we are facing the dengue problem in the month of winters so the climate change is more co- main cause to increase the this type of vector borne disease uh, the reasons likely to to be affected by malaria in the 2050 figure be showing that the, this these are the completely shifted completely shifted the uh, transmission area of the malaria and vector borne diseases so high altitude population that fall outside the area of stable endemic malaria may be particularly vulnerable to increase in the malaria due to the climate warming jahan par pehle malaria wale incidents nahi hote the ya dengue wale incidents nahi hote the due to the low temperature but these areas are also facing such type of problem because the mosquitoes the la- mosquito larvas it is easily receiving that type of temperature in the month of winter okay impact of exceptional environmental conditions on the human health what are the main impact that we can predict it on the human drought hot or cold uv radiation air pollution flood and landslide a storm ocean tsunami forest fire and of incidents on the impact of environmental condition and climate on human health 
what are the main main impact stress trauma several type of disease physical mental disorder disease of working capacity social disorder and death there is a uh, data that lots of the uh, death are happened due to the air pollution we are saying that lungs are failure lungs are going to failure lungs are not working properly but what are the main causes the main causes is the pollutant the pollutant that are affecting our body human body okay so effect of climate change physical system and process biological and ecological system there are some direct effect and some indirect effect so the global climate change directly and indirectly contributes to the spread of disease and premature mortality of the human being the so vulnerability thermal stress disease lack of water physical disorder okay so what are the main indirect impact direct impact is that we are facing the direct uh, disease by the change in the temperature by the change in the precipitation but what are the indirect impact the indirect impact the lack of drinking water disease of the crop quality and the food availability invasion of the disease vector migration of the population due to the drought and the flooding you can see that from the assam there are lots of the people are migrated from the assam side unemployment homelessness social violence these are the main indirect impact of the climate change that we are facing in present scenario uh climate change will affect the epidemiology of many diseases outbreak spread and control of infection disease uh, just a minute okay now oh, the quality of the health services also related to your climate change submergence of low lying areas that is also a major problem actually you can see our india is uh, uh, india has a position in between the two oceans uh, 3/4 of the part is uh, is related to the ocean so a trend of sea level rise of 1 cm per decade has been recorded along the indian coast so sea level sea level rise due to the thermal expansion and this could in in inflate or the low uh, submergence of the low lying areas down the coastal marshes and the wetlands and erode the beaches increases the flooding and the salinity of the rivers bay and the aquifers so it is expected that uh, prog the 2050 the sea level rise due to the thermal expansion and the ocean is expected to be about 25 to 40 cm rises that is of the low lying areas okay and what are the alternate what are the alternate for uh, to uh, facing this type of problem the sustainable development sustainable development hello my voice is clear uh, yes ma'am yes ma'am okay okay i think there is some disturbance so that i am as yes ha ah, so what what are the alternate uh, for the climate change that is a sustainable development so sustainable development is such type of development that we meet the need of the present but without compromising the ability of future generation actually we have to maintain our resources for the future generations jo cheez hum aaj utilize kar rahe hain jo nadiyan jo talab jo forest hum aaj dekh rahe hain wo hame apni future generations ke liye bhi as it is chhod kar jana hoga it means ki jo agar aaj hum ek ped utilize kar rahe hain ek ped ko use kar rahe hain to uske badle mein hame four plant we have to plant it that is a sustainability sustain we have to maintain all our natural resources okay so the sustainable development is a 
equilibrium between the improvement of the lifestyle and the well-being and preserving the natural resources and our ecosystem okay so the aim of the sustainable development is maximizing the probability of achieving the sustainable development whereas minimizing the chances of environmental degradation okay so there are four major components that fulfills the uh, phenomena of the sustainable development the climate change climatic change nutrient cycling hydrological cycles and the biodiversity we have to focus all these four points so characteristics of sustainable development these are some points that we, we it attempt to minimize the greenhouse gases reduce the global warming and preserve the environmental resources we have to emphasize on the green architecture and the eco friendly building practices we have to use the natural biodegradable building materials or the local materials we have to use the renewable resources of the water emphasize on the renewable energy resources such as solar and the wind energy protection of the natural habitat plant replacement for any resources and non polluting construction practices and the industries so these are the interdependent factors social development environmental protection and the economic development if we are protecting our environment we are developing our social relations we are developing we are generating our economic uh, factors so these all three are interrelated if we are disturbing our environmental resources we are disturbing our social development and we are losing our economic development aap dekhte hai na ki agar hamare flooded abhi hamari flood ki condition hogi ya drought ki condition hogi तो वी आर रिसीविंग द लेस ग्रेन एंड वो हमें क्या ज्यादा अमाउंट पे हमें बाहर से लेना पड़ता है या कई बार इंडिया में नहीं होता अब तो ऐसी प्रॉब्लम नहीं हो रही है ऐसी क्राइसिस नहीं हो रही है बट हमें बाहर से इंपोर्ट कराना पड़ता है तो उसके प्राइजेस हमें ज्यादा देने पड़ते हैं तो होगा ही ना क्राइसिस क्राइसिस होगी तो जो रिच पर्सन है जो कैपेबल है वो इजीली उस चीज को परचेस कर लेगा लेकिन जो हमारी पुअर बैकग्राउंड के लोग हैं जिनकी इकोनॉमिकल कंडीशन पहले से ही कम थी पुअर थी वो कैसे उस चीज को उस चीज को यूटिलाइज कर पाएंगे दैट इज द मेन कॉज ऑफ द पॉवर्टी सो वी हैव टू मेंटेन अवर ऑल नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज फॉर मेकिंग अवर सोशल डेवलपमेंट फॉर मेकिंग अवर इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट दैट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट Uh, that is a picture that is showing that uh, what are the main cause of the climate change obviously human being you all of uh, have been seen that in the time of lockdown that we are uh, receiving the good air quality index very very good quality index what was the reason the reason was that we have shut down all the industries we have shut down all the vehicular vehicles that are releasing the lots of amount of the pollutant so uh, there is a complete chart that, that uh, delhi mumbai hyderabad bangalore chennai they are receiving the very high index of the air quality they are showing a very good quality of the air at the time of the lockdown okay so that is the impact of the lockdown on the river ganga jal quality that is a pre lockdown and after the lockdown quality of the ganga river that do dissolve oxygen is suddenly going to increase bod biological oxygen demand that is suddenly going to decrease fecal coliform that is already going to decrease without any treatment so what was the reason the reason was that we have already reduced our uh, pollutant into the river into the air so what are the climate friendly initiatives the policies the policies adopted by the india for sustainable development 
energy efficiency, increasing penetration of the cleaner fuels, first on the renewable energy technologies and uh, cleaning of the river, enhance for, for forestations, etc. And uh, what can do to mitigate the climate effect? There is a small, small, very small things that we can do uh, on a daily basis. We can set our AC at the 25 degrees centigrade at all the time. We should not keeping the TV, DVD player, music sets on the on the standby mode. And we should look for the energy efficient level while buying the electrical appliances. So we can keep the optimum tire pressure and turning in our vehicle to get maximum mileage and reducing our air pollutants. Okay, so we can use the gray water after washing the clothes for the cleaning of the floor instead of the clean water, instead of the drinking water. We have to use the gray water that is useless. So we should use all these type of things for uh, contributing, uh, uh, contributing for the sustainability, for, for protecting our climate and making our climate for more favorable. So these are the conclusion. The climate change impact are already being seen. It is not. Uh, it is not expected to. It is uh, going to change. It is already changed. Okay. So above the one to three degrees centigrade uh, rise, many impact could become the critical. So sea level is already rise and need to limit the climate change. At least we have to limit all the global warming gases to reduce the two degree centigrade temperature. So without the stabilization of the greenhouse gases at a level which avoid the dangerous anthropogenic climate change, sustainable development will not be possible. So this is a small picture, a small video clipping that I am showing, only three minutes clipping. Uh, dear participant, if you have any query, any question, you can ask. I think there is some problem in this video. <laughs> so uh, I'm sharing with you. And this is a small picture that uh, nature is giving thanks to a human being at the time of lockdown that uh, you give us the time for, <laughs> for going to freely for making the vacations. OK, so I think uh, if uh, any student have some query or the question you can ask me yes, thank you thank you so much ma'am uh, i am also fortunate to have you as a teacher also uh, and okay. for pro, uh, delivering such an invite uh, uh, informative talk you have talked uh, about the various aspects of climate change and sustainability that including predicted effect of climate change, greenhouse effect, uh, effect on human health, impact of COVID-19 on environmental environment, the uh, climate friendly initiatives, also risk of ecosystem and people in India. So Thank you once again, ma'am, for uh, this in uh, in informative talk. Uh, if you have a dear participant, if you have any query, uh, then you can ask uh, in the chat box also. I have also granted access to unmute yourself, so you can unmute yourself to ask any query. I'm also uh, post uh, the feedback link in your chat box, so you can also provide your feedback also. Any query? Hello, I think. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, I have a query. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, only the thing we have seen that uh, uh, that non-renewable fossil fossil fuels are used, and uh, and non-renewable ener energies are used very um, very mu very much is used. How we can translate? Uh, how we can uh, promote the renewable energies because this is yeah. a very important factor. Yes, yeah. we can uh, in a present scenario, you can see that uh, we are using the 
uh, electric vehicle instead of the uh, commercial vehicles electric bikes uh, electric scooters so that is the government policy to initiate this type of uh, renewable energy solar powered energy actually at present uh, all over the industry that is a provision that uh, you have to all the industry have to utilize the 60% renewable energy resources and the 40% uh, it will be based on the non renewable energy resources so uh, solar energy uh, india has a potential to use the most of the amount of the solar energy we are very we we are very lucky to have the solar uh, radiations lots of amount of solar radiation lots of the uh, hydropower hydropower plants okay but the problem is ki uh, we have to making it synchronize uh, that we have to making it the in a hybrid mode that not only dependent on the solar energy not only dependent on the hydel energy not only dependent on the geothermal energy we have to making a complete system that some amount from the solar energy some amount from the wind energy what are the main points what are the main sites in india that we have harness all these types of energy so it is a long term process but we have to initiate slowly slowly okay so that is the alternate but uh, dependency on the fossil fuel is very dangerous you can see that your petrol and diesel prices is going to rise day by day abhi kuch dino se kam hua hai hai na but suddenly it is a ek short term phenomena hai aapki fir dobara se increase ho jayega because all over the world is facing this type of problem uh, reducing the fossil fuel amount so the dependency on the third generation fourth generation fuels you know biofuels petro crops any other question uh, one uh, question from dibyandu mukhopadhyay so industries are based on internal combustion engine steam generator that is producing the carbon dioxide in which way could we change the technology commercialize the technology yeah uh, repeat the question at uh, industry are based on internal combustion engine okay the steam generators that is producing the carbon dioxide in which way we can yeah yeah change the Haan. technology okay 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 so in the industries we are using the fossil fuels we are using the coal for uh, uh, making the water into the steam but in some places in some places in india it particularly in the uttarakhand there are lots of sites of the geothermal energy resources geothermal geo means the energy stored within the earth aapne dekha hoga ki hot springs hum upar jate hain vaishno devi mein jate hue aapne dekha hoga ki aapko ek garam pani ka srot milta hai hai na that is the sites so we can harness in in a local area we we also search out this type of uh, sources of the geothermal so the main major industries can utilize this type of energy otherwise it can utilize the simple solar energy solar geysers solar heaters solar panels aapko jankar ye bahut hairani hogi ki jo hamara shirdi mein sai baba mandir hai trust hai they are utilizing the lots of amount of the solar energy for making its food wo kisi aur in the cheez ko use nahi karte hain na lpg ko use karte hain na coal ko use karte hain they are dependent completely dependent on the solar energy they have the solar kitchen so in this way we can utilize uh, we can short out this type of uh, thing okay ki carbon dioxide production कहा से आ रहा है आपका जो भी फॉसिल फ्यूल हम बर्न कर रहे हैं वहां से कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्रोडक्शन आ रहा है सो वी कैन रिड्यूस दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रोडक्शन बाय यूटिलाइजिंग द सोलर एनर्जी एनी अदर क्वेश्चन ही वांट टू आल्सो आस्क देयर इज इंक्रीज कंजम्पशन ऑफ फॉसिल फ्यूल्स देयर इज वेरी लेस इन्वेस्टमेंट इन सोलर एनर्जी एंड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी कैन हेलो हेलो हेल्प टू यस यस दिव्यंतु Are you here? Uh, yes, sir. I am here, sir. 
yes so you that, can ask uh, okay uh, only the only we have uh, the investment in the renewable energy is very low we have seen uh, uh, the in, uh, industries are growing but it is very low how we can make it uh, happen that uh, that uh, renewable energy should be uh, very much diversified and uh, and a very good amount of uh, energy should be come out from renewable energy yeah. there is a technical aspect to uh, harnessing the more solar energy if you are saying that aapko pata hoga ki hamara uh, delhi uh, delhi airport is uh, completely dependent on the renewable energy resources pata hai aapko it is renewable energy resources okay, it is based on the renewable solar energy and the hydro power energy okay it is it is very surprising so th there is a tactical uh, part that uh, we have to search out the uh, some uh, then uh, up latitude and longitude jante hain and we have to search out the position particular the sun solar radiation that on which point we are receiving the more solar radiation and the angle of the solar panels these are some technical uh, part that if we are uh, utilizing this we can uh, already increase our production by the solar energy okay aapki bahut si aise sites hoti hain aap ye dekhe ki kahin par hamare din mein variation hota hai kahin par din hamara bahut zyada 14 hours long hota hai in the summers kahin par hamara 12 ghante ka bhi hota hai to uska matlab kya hai ki we are receiving the less solar radiation so we have to search out the particular such type of location by which we are getting the more solar energy in a shorter duration uh, abhi jab next kabhi uh, mr gaurav hame opportunity denge to main particular renewable and non renewable energy resources ke upar hi aapko ek particular ek talk dena chahungi jisme hamare bahut sare aise techniques hoti hain jisme solar energy ko hum different type se hum use kar sakte hain abhi aap kya jante hain keval solar uh, pv cells solar photovoltaic cells wo nahi hai आपका हिलियोस्टेट्स भी होते हैं जिसमें कि पर्टिकुलर बहुत सारे मिरर्स लगे हुए होते हैं वो कंसंट्रेट करते हैं पर्टिकुलर एक पॉइंट पे जहां पर आपका कोई लिक्विड फील्ड होता है तो वहां से हम विद इन अ मिनट विद इन अ मिनट आप यू कैन टेक द लॉट्स ऑफ अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी दैट यू कॉन्ट एक्सपेक्ट सो देर लॉट्स ऑफ वेरिएशन इन द सोलर एनर्जी वेरिएशन वो डिपेंड करता है कि आप किस चीज को ईजिली uh, यूटिलाइज कर सकते हैं आपके पास क्या रिसोर्सेज अवेलेबल हैं आप किस तरह से उसको यूटिलाइज करेंगे इन अ वेरी इजी वे ये वाली चीज़ है लेकिन देर इज ए ऑप्शन अभी तक हम लोगों को यही पता है कि खाली हम पी वी सेल्स लगाते हैं या सोलर गीजर लगाते हैं नहीं देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स आर अवेलेबल ओके आई थिंक yes ma'am we can celebrate the world environment day also and uh, i am also inviting you to deliver the talk <laughs> on renewable energy because ma'am it, it 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 would be my pleasure that uh, um, i should uh, listen you again and again uh, I, I, you taught me uh, 10 year ago pleasure. yes ma'am <laughs> yes so so if any query you can ask uh, you give uh, you give the number my number to the student if uh, somebody is more interested to okay, such type of thing hai okay, na wo mere se baad mein bhi baat karke puch sakta hai aise koi baat nahi hai mail kar sakte hain mujhe hai na kabhi is tarah ka hoga to main apna jo kuch ppts hain usse related kuch hai to main unko material bhi send kar sakti hu okay. there is no problem okay okay any other query okay i think there is no query ma uh, so uh, i would like to uh, kind uh, facilitate you with a e momento <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so thank you very much kindly accept it is our more precious to me immense <laughs> gratitude uh, thank you by receiving this e momento virtually okay thank you <laughs> okay, thank you thank you so much ma'am welcome welcome okay 
so uh, uh, i have posted the feedback link also in a chat group uh, so i am requesting you to all to kindly provide your feedback and that will be utilized to uh, for the uh, any quality uh, checking and quality type of uh, thing as ma'am is also coordinator of iqsc so i will uh, the share the feedback with our speaker also so your feedback is very valuable so kindly send your feedback okay thank you ma'am thank you for accepting our invitation once again thank you so much ma'am